Hi hi and welcome back. It's me Dariana and we are back on the APM server. Um today um as you can see we're back at spawn. Um I thought we'd start over here today because we've got um a project to do in the town centre. I I was gonna work on my base but then um I decided hooray it's raining <laughs> I decided that um, we, we should just get on with the wool shop. I found um, a pretty good tutorial that we're going to follow um, by the Mythical Sausage who um, kind of borrowed the idea from Wattles. Um, I'll link the video in, in, the, in the section below so you can see um, his uh, tutorial because it's much better than what I'm probably going to do. But anyway, I thought I'd show you this to begin with. Something's happened to the chicken. The egg is gone. Oh, where did the egg go? Where did the egg go? Well, let's go and investigate where the egg has gone. The egg is over there. Don't know what it's doing over there. Let's have a look see what it says egg here please well there it is oh what's behind the the chicken now oh somebody's put a big massive frying pan what's i bet there's an egg in there i bet there's an egg in there let's see if we can see it ah yeah somebody's frying an egg behind the chicken i hope you're okay with that i hope you're okay with that chicken Ooh, a bit scary yummy oh it makes me want to fry fried egg now <laughs> okay let's have a see what what um i've been up to i've been gathering resources and um this is kind of what i've been doing today and a bit of yesterday we've got um half of the the sheep that i um that we need and we're going to do the other half today um we've um i've been breeding the sheep up and i, I thought i thought i would um do the colored sheep first and then bring them up but it turn as it turns out it was easier bringing just the white up and then dyeing them once they were up there um and, and behind this lovely facade we've got all the redstone trickery that's going on here and actually it's very very simple and it has to be because i'm doing it <laughs> but let's get cracking shall we cracking chicken <laughs> oh i'm so funny okay so for this we need quite a few goodies um i had to go on a great big expedition to find lots of iron because this is quite iron intensive um we need barrels and oak trap doors and brick walls obviously glass uh, grass blocks we need for the sheep to eat um dispensers hoppers observers chests rail which i've got in bucket loads um we've got lots and lots of glass um oak buttons are more for aesthetics than anything um and obviously in here we've got um the different dyes for the sheep and also concrete powder which will turn into concrete for for each section um and then obviously wood to to make the roof so to start off with we use our barrels to mark out these areas here now we need them to go upwards like this so that it makes this lovely aesthetic here like this Ooh, word of the day aesthetic <laughs> okay so we go around all of these like this i marked it out first because i find it easier to to know what i'm doing then like this do, 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 do. like this now because there's um, 18 different um, dies, 
we need 18 areas. Technically, technically we could get away with doing 17 because the white wool isn't really needed because, well, there's white sheep everywhere. Um, but I like to have the, um, I like, I think it would match up better if we did have the white in. So I'm going to put the white in anyway. Okay, now what did I do next? I went and I got, so that's enough barrels for now. And then we need to get some, I'm using acacia wood. Um, he didn't have acacia wood in his, I think he just used oak. Oh, need to make sure that you don't open the barrels up, obviously. Silly, silly. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> it's going to be me just opening the barrels constantly. another stack of I need another stack of this and then I went around like this doop, doop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. and this creates each of the little sections that we need for each of the sheep now you could do it as a standalone he does say that you could have like just um one um sheep farm if you really wanted um, but I thought might as well have them all here because this is going to be in well it is in the community area so um, everybody will be wanting a different colour I'm sure it just makes it easier then and they don't have to worry about dyeing it because they're already done like this like this not if you don't have any more left come on Derry there we go. And there. Now what I what I'm doing as well is instead of just having it in one long line, I have split them up um, just to you know save it from being all the way over there. Then they're um, kind of in one area, um, and it also means <clears throat> you can you can uh, get access to both at the same side. I'm not going to be doing it. I'm going to do it the opposite way around so that you know you've got this nice little corridor up here like this. Now the next thing that I need to do is the inside. Now let's see if I can remember how to do this. I'm just going to put those in there for now. We'll finish that bit off in a bit. Um, I'm going to need chests, hoppers and... Chest and hoppers just for now. So you want to be putting chests here like this. Oh, out you go. Like this. Like this. And like that. And then what you need to do is you need to put your hopper going into the chest like that. It'd be good if I didn't actually stand exactly where I want to be placing it. Okay, so once we've done that, we want to put our rail on top of that. So let's put our chests away because we're finished with those. Let's get them. And let's get some, a bunch of these. Like this. Okay, so put the rail on and then the chest on top like that. The cart, I mean. You know what I mean. Like that and then boom. Got to be really careful though because they slide off at the slightest thing. I had lots of fun doing that. Um, 
with the other side. They just, yeah. Oh, hey Kylie. Hey, hey, hey. Say hello to everyone. Say hello to everyone. <laughs> Cute. Okay, so boop, boop, like that. Then like that. I thought it would be really cute as well to call the shop Wendelene's Wool Shop, like in Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> I've actually got um, one of the sheep called Sean. I can't remember which one he is. Oh, goodness me. Right, no! Oh, come on, track. Play with me. There we go. Okay. Now then, what I did next was I, I closed all this off because we don't need to... <laughs> For everybody who's just read that, um, I got married on Monday. Um, it was a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. Um, and it didn't rain. Oh, amazing. Yeah, so we're going to close this off with the acacia wood. Um, and we're just going to do the dye, the dyed um, concrete um, at the front. Just because. Um, well, I don't have, um, let's say hello to Zebra. Hi, hi. We don't have a lot of um, the concrete and um, because each section that um, the mythical sausage did um, had the, oh, we forgot to put torches in there. I need to do that. Yeah, because each of the sections that um, the mythical sausage did um, had the had the concrete all in this bit here as well. Um, now I'm not doing that. I'm just I'm just placing torches and letting it be a, um, a free flow thing because really you don't need that bit to be um, completely concreted or sectioned off. Um, and plus it, it saves um, saves on the concrete because that stuff is annoying to make <laughs> so I didn't I didn't section that off in there okay so once we've got that bit um, let's Let me just come back because I'm I'm going to um, get the concrete prepared because I haven't done that yet. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my uh, concrete ready. So let's start filling this in, and this will help us to know which bits to put the uh, sheep in. Here we go. Oh my goodness me, really, really, really. <laughs> Place the box properly. Here we go. Wow. Oh, hi, Corgi. Uh, I'm going to do this. Although white's not really needed, but I like to have it there. Okay. And let's see, I use cobblestone for this bit just to, just for something different, just to seal it off so you don't see the, um, the cart 
but you can still open the um, the chest like that okay let me I'll be right back the shutting the server down Okay, and we're back. Let's see, what do we need to do next? We've got all that. Um, okay, so now comes some tricky bit. We need to get up there and do all the rest of the stuff. So we need for that bit, where's my, oh, I need some barrels. I need the grass. And I need the brick wall to begin with. Let's go ahead and take some redstone, the dispensers and the observers, which are so tricky to do. Can I just say they are so tricky to do? I, I did them earlier and for the life of me, it took me ages to figure out how to, to get them done. Um, and I'll take some, I'll take some slabs as well. Um, let me just show you behind here. Um, I've put some slabs here just so that it's easier to get to the dispensers. Um, I suppose it's going to help us as well um, to climb up to where we need. Actually, I need to figure out. Oh, let's eat. Oh, so hungry. Nom, 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 nom. Okay. Where do I start from? La, 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 la. I need to go to there. Okay. So I need it to go up to there. La, 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 la. And then I need it to come down so that we can get up easily like this yay right okay so I think I'll start with the grass which I'm gonna put like so is it like that no it's not oh no and it goes okay I'm gonna do it like that Yes, and then the dispenser goes there. No, the observer goes there. And the observer goes that way. So that the arrow's pointing this way. Then you put some redstone and then you put your dispenser pointing that way. So when you get your sheep in, your sheep stands here and it um, and the observer checks whether the sheep has eaten and got the wool on it and then the, it sends the dis dispenser, well it sets the dispenser off and it shoots out um, some shears to shear the sheep. That is, that is the theory anyway. And I know it works actually because my farm over there has been working perfect awesome considering that I did it it's very very simple it's only one bit of redstone um, oh, I hope I don't run out of this that's gonna be embarrassing do, 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 do. don't run out no I'm not gonna run out like this Okay, let's get these dispensers and stuff in. I'll be right back.
Okay, so that's all the dispensers and all of the observers done. And all the redstone is ready. So let's go ahead and put this top bit on before we start introducing the sheep, which is the, the great fun bit. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to get this done and I'll be right back. forgot to mention is is that you put the um, brick wall on top of this last barrel and then we put, we um, basically balance the roof on top of these uh, wall bits they don't actually get balanced on the glass itself there's a nice little airspace for the for the sheep to breathe um, and then right on top there is a trap door so if you needed to get in you can okay so let me get on with that. Oh, if I can, it's probably best if I did that way here. Yeah. Really? Okay, now that we've done that, let's go and grab the glass and then start introducing the sheep okay what I did was I placed the glass like this and made a little area here to put the sheep and then I only had this bit to um, put in place so Yeah, I'm just going to do it one by one. Okay, let's go grab a sheep. Now what I did before was because there was baby sheep, they, they actually come out of the corner. Whereas the grown sheep don't, they just get stuck. Let's just test that theory out, shall we? See? See how it just gets stuck? So, how am I going to do this? See, I've got two sheep stuck there right now. Can I? Oh, oh I am so sorry. Oh, I, I should hang my head in shame. I am so sorry. Yeah, I know. I didn't mean to. Right, let's see if this works. Right, I only wanted one. But okay, two I guess will do. Let's see. Let's see who's gonna follow. Who's gonna follow? Good sheep. Oh, still got a ways to go. Come on. I only want one. Don't know where the other one's got. Right in. In you go. In. in you go. You want to go in. There we go. Look, it's here. That's it. No. See, that's the trouble when you've got to. Oh, actually. Get you to come over here a minute, sir. Or should I say, miss? Okay, uh, the other one over here. Come on, then. Come 
Ne? Another one. And the last sheep. Come on then. Come on then. Let's join all your brothers. Well, sisters. <gasps> Why do I keep calling them boys? Come on then. This should be fun trying to get you in here. Come on. Come on. Um. Come on. Come on. Hey. Hey. Come on. Come on. Don't lose interest. Come on. Look, I've got your wheat right here. You want it. Come on. Sheep is so so hard. Come on. Come on. Come on. When you come. Yes, yes, yes. Stay there, stay there, stay there. No, no, no. Go back in. Go back in. Go back in. And you're in. Oof. There we go. And that's all eight sheep. Now we can get rid of this. Don't need this anymore. La, 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 la. Okay, and now what we can do is we can dye the sheep the colour that we want them to be. Let's, let's get this out. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. Okay, so we need. All of the dyes. Die, 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 dies. Uh, might as well take the wood as well. And let's see if we can find the trap doors. And then once that is done, then all we need to do is the shears. So let's go go ahead and dye the sheep. Let's see far. <laughs> if I can get up there. Ooh. Okay. Um Actually, what colour did I start with? Oh, I can't see. Let's see. Okay, so we've started white here. Well, you're already white. Okay. Oh, come on. That way. There we go. So we need light grey. 
light grey. You're going to be light grey. You're going to be dark grey. You're going to be black. You're going to be... Just get this right, make sure I'm getting the right shape here. Yep, great. Uh, check out the brown, which means you're gonna be dark blue. And you're gonna be cyan. Yep. Gotta make sure it's right, otherwise I'm getting all of my colours mixed up. And you're going to be light blue. There we go, so that's all of our sheep now coloured. Now we've got the wonderful job of sorting the roof out like so. So what? Ooh, let's make sure we don't get stuck in there like I did earlier. Oh, well, that was fun. <laughs> Just go around like this. So you just do one on each corner, then two up, then two up into the middle, and then two back down, and that gives us this lovely pattern for our roof, like that. And you do that for each one. And like that. Okay, so then swap it out for. Well, I'm using a case here, wood. Like this. Oh, hi, Zebra. Okay, now what I did was um, I started off the four corners like this. They're not corners at all. But I went all the way around anyway. And then, what did I do? Oh, I went up here like this. Okay, I'm gonna grab my trap doors as well. Oh, that's not a trap door. Come on now. That's a trap door, okay. Like this which means that if you happen to be on the top here you're not gonna fall in like I did earlier because I'm just a doofus <laughs> really And there we go, that's all of the roof done. So now all we need to do to make sure that this is working is to put in the, oh that's a long way down, is to put in the shears into the um, dispensers. Um, okay, so let's get rid of most of this. So we don't actually need any of that now. White dye. Oh, I don't need white dye. Okay, let's get all of these. Now we need nine shears per dispenser. So we're going to grab some iron as well. Because we definitely don't have enough. Oh, come on. We don't have enough shears to to go in them here. Let's start from this end. Okay. There we go. So now that one should start. Okay, let's make some more. Ooh, I might not even 
I'm having enough of this stack, I might have to nip home and get some more iron. Takes a lot of iron. Test again just to make sure. Yeah, no iron there. Oh, no, 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 I'm gonna have to nip home. Be right back. Okay, there we go. Now then, let's get the rest of those in and then make sure that this is working. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got some spare as well. So let's just sneakily hide them in here. There we go. So that should be working now. Should be working now. Why are you not? Why is this not working? Eat! Eat! This one's working. Why are you not eating sheep? Are you all on protest? Well, they're eating because the patch be bit for wait. You have. Yay! Have you? Oh, you've got dirt in yours. That's not what I want. Yours is working. Come on, sheep. Oh, I heard one click. So let's see. Oh, I know you're working. <gasps> you're working. Oh, the blue one started working. I think we can safely say that they're all working. Can't imagine why these ones wouldn't and these ones are. gotta wait for the for the grass to grow back that's what that's what they're waiting on okay so that is my Wendelin sheep farm now what I want to do is to um, close off the back of it um, over here maybe maybe make um, a cute in-between roof as well um, and then put a nice front on it which will extend out here so I'll need to do a little bit of uh, terraforming is that the word I'll need to sort out the the ground in front so that we can put a nice uh, shop front on it um, so I'll probably come out about here for the shop front with a nice sign saying Wendelines wool shop so that's what I'm going to do. I'll probably do that um, off camera. So it'll probably be done by the time um, you, you join me again. So thank you once again for um, what am I doing? That's what I meant to do. You want to see me? <laughs> So I want to say thank you for joining me um, while I made my wool farm and I shall see you next time hopefully for some more derpy adventures. <laughs> okay so this is Dariana saying have fun and stay safe.